Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our five, so it's five this way and ten this way. We're going to fold it along the long way and we're going to stitch a quarter of an inch this way. Okay, so now we have a long tube. We're going to flip it inside out. And we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to fold it. This is the two and a half by three and a half. And we're going to fold it on or sew it on the long end. Since we're flipping them inside out, you might want to back stitch. I didn't just do that, but you might want to back stitch them. And then this one, we are going to fold it in half. Okay, so this piece we're going to fold in half all the way down. And you can use your iron. Um, if you want to, I'm not going to just so that I don't have to get up and down. Um, we're going to fold it in half. And so we have the line for the halfway mark and then we're going to fold it in this way. And we're just going to finger press it. And then we're going to turn it around and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fold this side in to that middle crease. And we're going to finger press. And then we're going to fold those two ends in and over. And you can use a little wonder clip to hold them together. I don't have any of those right here. They're in the drawer underneath the camera. So, um, so we're going to just do that. Okay. So we can pin it. It'll stay that way, but okay. And then we're going to pin it. And then we're going to sew it down one side and then down the other side. And then we'll flip these two, the other two pieces inside out. the same way the other direction. You could do this with elastic if you didn't want to, to do this. If you wanted to just do a piece of elastic around his neck, you could. Um, I'm just going to do uh, Velcro. So, um, if you have a serger, you could serge the ends of these, um, but I'm just going to cut it off and make a little stitch at the end when I do the Velcro. Okay, so this one we're going to fold, we're going to put back right side out, and I just stick my thumb in, and then my middle finger, and then I just push. So my thumb and my middle finger are still holding it and then you can pull this. And then we are going to need to press it. And then we're going to try this one. This one's not going to be as easy.
You can put a safety pin on one end and then push it through. I think I can get it like this. We shall see. Can I? <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. And then this is the stick that comes in the polyfill. I got it out of the drawer. Okay. And now I'm going to press these. Okay, so you're going to want to press them so that your seam line is... Um, in the center right here. There's my seam line. You can't really even see it since it's a stripe. And then what you're going to do is fold it in half so that the seam line is in the center. So that's going to be the bow tie. So you want the seam to be hidden. So now we're going to stitch this. I'm just going to stitch a super, super, super tiny stitch length. Okay, I take my scissors and I just trim off the raw edges and then I'm going to finger press it open. Doesn't really matter. I don't think it's, I, I really don't think it matters. If it stays open, I don't think it's going to anyway, but this is what we're going to do. So we're going to fold it in half and then in half again. And then this little guy goes over the middle part to make you a sweet little bow tie. And then for my sweet little bow tie, so I'll show you again. So you fold it in half, and then this part goes up, and then so does that one. And so you can take a needle and thread and sew it through there to hold it. Since it's just for the teddy bear, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I am going to take this and I'm going to put it as close to the actual bow tie as I can. And I'm going to go underneath. I'm going to stitch. Back and forth a couple of times. And then I'm going to trim it off. Now, oh, forgot. Well, since I forgot, <laughs> you should put this, this strip through there first before you tow, sew it together. But if you're like me, you forget most things. <laughs> so anyway. We're going to pull this guy to the center, just like that. It actually might be easier to do it the way I just did it instead of trying to... Uh... And now we've got it in half there. Then you can take a needle and thread if you want to and attach your, your little neck band to all of it. Um, and so it just depends on how fancy you want to get. And so there's our little bow tie. And we can put it, let's put it on this one just to try it out. Okay, so I have a little piece of Velcro. It's about an inch and a half. And these are the sticky ones. I actually think this one might be a little bit bigger. 
I think I have a, I think I have some scrap Velcro happening here, but that is okay. Use what you have. Okay, so this guy, we're gonna cut off that salvage edge that I left. And we're gonna cut this guy off. And then we're gonna put our little bow tie on the bear and then spin it around. And like I said, you can make this, um, you can cut it short so that it's exactly the right, um, or you can just put it on the very end. You can make it however you want to. I think what I'm going to do is cut it about right there. And then I cut it about right there. Totally just guesstimating there. And then we're gonna stick our Velcro. And this is the sticky kind. This isn't the kind that you sew. Um, so if you wanna get the sew-in Velcro, you can absolutely do that. And then this Velcro is going to go right there. Oh, there we go. I thought I did it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that this kind does need a little bit of uh, a couple of stitches. But nonetheless, there it is. Super cute. Hey y'all, and we just finished a teddy bear. It's so cute. And we made a bow tie. I'm so proud of you. So make sure you check out some of my other tutorials where we will make the patchwork bear. This is with the two and a half inch squares as well as with the strips. And make sure you also subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to come back and check out some of my future videos. And if you are planning to make the teddy tell pattern, you will need to purchase this on my website. It is thread-graffiti.com. And this is not offered as a PDF. This is only going to be mailed to you because there is a paper template inside that you will need in order to make the bear. So please make your orders at thread-graffiti.com and subscribe. Can't wait to see y'all next time.